Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about sex determination. Before 1891, the mechanism of sex determination was the biggest question for the genetist. It is during 1891, Henking for the first time noticed a deeply strained structure along with the other chromosome under microscope while studying the spermatogenesis of insects. He named this deeply stained body as an X body. Later, he observed that 50% of the sperm that is produced during spermatogenesis received this X body, whereas other 50% of the sperm produced did not receive this X body. But he could not explain the significance of the result that he got in his experiment. Later, other scientists discovered that this X body is nothing but the chromosome and they named it as the X chromosome. Further investigation proved that this X chromosome is nothing but the sex chromosome and it is this sex chromosome which is responsible for the genetic sex of an individual. There are different types of sex determining mechanism in different organism and these different types of sex determination can be studied under mainly two categories that is male heterogamity and female heterogamity. As name indicate in heterogamity Hetero means different, gamete means gamete. So, in male heterogamete, it is a male individual which produces different types of gametes in terms of sex chromosome. Whereas, in female heterogamete, it is a female individual which produces different types of gametes in terms of sex chromosome. Under male heterogamety, there are two types of sex determining mechanism discovered. They are XXX0 type and XXXY type. Similarly, under female heterogamity, there are two types of sex determining mechanism has been discovered. They are ZZZO type and ZZZW type. I will discuss all these four types of sex determination one by one. First, let me talk about male heterogamity. As I already told, male heterogamity means it is a male individual which produces different types of gametes in terms of sex chromosome. Under that, the first type is XXX0 type of sex determination. This type of sex determination can be seen in some of the plants, in true bugs and in grasshopper. So these are the individual or the organisms which shows XXX0 type of sex determination. As I already told, it's a type of male heterogamity, means male produces different types of gametes. Therefore, the individual having two X chromosome or XX chromosome as a sex chromosome are the females and the individual having only one X chromosome or X0 are the males. You can write the genotype of the female and the males like this. So, female will be having the genotype for 2N plus XX. Here 2N refers to autosome and XX are the sex chromosome and the genotype of the male is 2N plus X0. So 2N is autosome and X0 is the sex chromosome. So only one X chromosome is present in the case of male. In the next step that is during the gametogenesis, female produces egg and male produces sperms. And you know that the gametes produced are haploid in nature. Haploid means they receive half the chromosome or only one set of chromosome. So X produced will be having N plus X. So N refers to autosome and X refers to one of the sex chromosome. Another egg produced will be having again N plus X. So X refers to another sex chromosome. So all the egg produced will be having the X chromosome. On the other hand, the sperm produced by the male will have N plus X. So X refers to one of the sex chromosome. And the another sperm produced will be having N plus 0. So here 0 refers to absence of the sex chromosome. Or this sperm will not have any sex chromosome. So 50% of the gametes produced will be having the X chromosome. And this 50% of the sperm produced will be having no sex chromosome or absence of a sex chromosome. In the next step, that is during fertilization, if the egg carrying X chromosome fertilizes with the sperm carrying X chromosome, then it develops into female individual with the genotype 2N plus XX. So here one X received from the egg and another X received from the sperm. In other case, if the egg carrying X chromosome fertilizes with the sperm carrying no sex chromosome, then it develops into male individual with the genotype 
n plus x0. So here x0 refers to absence of a 1 sex chromosome. So 1 x chromosome received from the egg and 0 refers to absence of sex chromosome which is from the sperm. So this individual develops into male. Similarly, the egg carrying the X chromosome, when it fertilizes with the sperm carrying X chromosome, it develops into female and the egg carrying the X chromosome fertilizes with the sperm carrying no sex chromosome, it develops into male individual. So 50% of the offspring produced will develops into male and 50% of the offspring that is produced will develops into female. From this, it is very clear that the sex of the offspring produced is determined by the genetic makeup of the sperms or it is a male individual which determines the sex of the offspring or the male which produces two types of gametes is a one which determines the sex of the individual or the offspring here. So that is about the XXX0 type of sex determination. Second type under male heterogamete is XXXY type of sex determination and this type of sex determination is seen in man as well as in Drosophila melanogaster. So both these organisms show XXXY type of sex determination. As I already told it is a type of male heterogamete means male produces two different types of gametes. Therefore the individual having two X chromosome or XX chromosome as a sex chromosomes are the females and the individual having XY chromosomes are two different sex chromosomes are the males. So genotype of female is 2N plus XX and genotype of male is 2N plus XY. Next step is gametogenesis. So during which female produces X and male produces sperm. So female producing X will be having the X chromosome. So this is a one of the egg having N plus X chromosome that is one of the sex chromosome and it is another egg having N plus X chromosome that is another X chromosome or sex chromosome. Next is sperm produced during the spermatogenesis. So one of the sperm has N plus X chromosome that is one of the sex chromosome and another sperm have N plus Y chromosome that is another sex chromosome. So 50% of the gamete produced or sperm produced will be having X chromosome and 50% of the sperm produced will be having Y chromosome or male individual produces two different types of gametes. That is why it is a type of male heterogamete. In the next step that is during fertilization, if the egg carrying X chromosome fertilizes with the sperm carrying X chromosome, then it develops into female individual with the genotype 2N plus XX. So here XX refers to female. Similarly, when the egg carrying X chromosome, if it fertilizes with the sperm carrying Y chromosome, then it develops into male individual with the genotype 2N plus XY. So XY means male here. Similarly, if the egg carrying X chromosome fertilizes with the sperm carrying X chromosome, the individual produced will be female and if the egg carrying X chromosome fertilizes with the sperm carrying Y chromosome, the individual produced will be male. So 50% of the offspring produced will be male and 50% of them are the females. So from this it is very clear that the sex of the offspring produced is determined by the genetic makeup of the sperm or it is a male individual which determines the sex of the offspring produced or the individual which produces two different types of gametes are the one who determines the sex of the offspring produced. So that is about the two types of sex determination under male heterogamety. Now let me discuss about the female heterogamity. As I already told, female heterogamity means it is a female individual which produces two different types of gametes. Under female heterogamity, there are two types of sex determination. They are ZZZ0 type and ZZZW type. Now the alphabet that is Z and W is used just to differentiate it from the XXX0 and XXXY type. Let me discuss about the first type of sex determination that is ZZZ0 type. ZZZ0 sex determination is seen in some of the moths and butterflies. So these are the individual which shows ZZZ0 type of sex determination. As I already told it is a type of female heterogamity. Female heterogamity means female produces two different types of gametes. Therefore the individual having ZZ sex chromosomes are the males and the individual having Z0 sex chromosomes are the females. So the genotype of the male is 
2n plus zz and genotype of the female is 2n plus z0. Next step is gametogenesis. During gametogenesis, the male individual produces the sperms with the Z chromosome. So this sperm have N plus Z chromosome, that is one of the sex chromosome. And this sperm has N plus Z chromosomes, that is another sex chromosome. Whereas the female produces two different types of egg. So one egg will be having N plus Z, that is one of the sex chromosome. Another will be having N plus 0, means no sex chromosome. So this egg lack sex chromosome only autosomes are present so 50 percentage of the egg produce will be having the z chromosome and 50 percentage of the egg produce will not have any sex chromosome here so here the female produces two different types of gametes that is why it's a type of female heterogamity next step is fertilization if the sperm carrying Z chromosome fertilizes with the egg carrying Z chromosome, it develops into male individual with the genotype 2N plus ZZ. So here ZZ refers to male individual. Similarly, if the sperm carrying Z chromosome fertilizes with the egg carrying no sex chromosome, then it develops into female individual. So Z0 means female individual. Same way, the sperm carrying Z chromosome, when it fertilizes with the egg carrying Z chromosome, it develops into male individual. Sperm carrying Z chromosome, when it fertilizes with the egg carrying no sex chromosome, it develops into female individual. So 50% of the offspring produced are female and 50% of them are male. So from this, it is very clear that the sex of the offspring produced is determined by the genetic makeup of the egg or it is a female which determines the sex of the offspring produced because it is a female who produces two types of gametes here. That's why female determines the sex of the offspring produced. So that is about the first type of female heterogamity that is ZZ, Z0 type of sex determination. Second type is ZZ, ZW type of sex determination. This type of sex determination is seen in some of the insects, fishes, reptiles and birds. So these are the organism which shows ZZ, ZW type of sex determination. So it is a type of a female heterogamity. That's why the individual having ZZ sex chromosomes are the male and the individual having two different types of sex chromosome that is ZW are the females. So males having the genotype 2N plus ZZ and females have genotype 2N plus ZW. Next step is gametogenesis. So during gametogenesis, male produces same type of sperm. So sperm will be having N plus Z, so one of the sex chromosome. So this sperm have another Z chromosome, so N plus Z chromosome. Whereas here, the egg which is produced by this females are different. So one egg will be having N plus Z chromosome, that is one of the sex chromosome, that is Z chromosome. And this egg have N plus W chromosome, that is another sex chromosome. So two different types of eggs are produced by this female. That is why it is a type of female heterogamity. So 50% of the egg produced will be having Z chromosome and 50% of the egg produced will be having W chromosome. Next step is fertilization. If the sperm produced having the Z chromosome fertilizes with the egg carrying the Z chromosome, then it develops into male individual having the genotype 2N plus ZZ. So here ZZ refers to male individual. Similarly, if the sperm carrying Z chromosome fertilizes with the egg carrying W chromosome, then it develops into female individual with the genotype 2N plus ZW. So ZW means female individual here. So the sperm carrying Z chromosome, when it fertilizes with the egg carrying Z chromosome, it develops into male. When the sperm carrying Z chromosome, when it fertilizes with the egg carrying W chromosome, it develops into female. So here also 50% of the offspring are male and 50% of them are female. Here the sex of the offspring produced is determined by the genetic makeup of the egg or it is a female which produces two types of gametes determines the sex of the offspring produced. So that is about the ZZ, ZW type of sex determination. 
So that is all about the four types of sex determination under two heading that is male heterogamity and the female heterogamity. I hope this concept is clear. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.